Hello? Hi, sir. This is James from Medicare Benefits. How are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? Not necessary. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Very well. So, sir, basically the purpose of my call is to let you know that you have been perfectly qualified to get additional benefits on your Medicare. So, within the next 24 to 48 hours, our best licensed agent will call you back. So, I am talking to your last name is like Butler, right? B-U-T-L-E-R? No, it's Grinnell. Grinnell? Yes. It's spelled G as in golf. Okay, so sir, can you uh, can you verify me zip code? Four eight one two six. Four eight one two six. That's perfect. So, sir, do you have a Medicare card? Yes, I have Medicare. Okay, so sir, I know that. How old are you? I'm seventy nine. Oh, that's perfect, sir. So, sir, can you confirm your date of birth, please? I was born a poor child, Christmas Day, year of our Lord, 1942. When I was born, the Battle of Stalingrad was still raging in Russia, and it was Franklin Roosevelt's third term in office. Oh, that's perfect, sir. So... Sir, uh, can you uh, spell me your first and last name? My first name is spelled R as in Romeo, O as in Oscar, B as in Bravo, R. E as in Echo, R as in Romeo, T as in Tango. My last name is spelled G as in Golf, R as in Romeo, I as in India, N as in November, N as in November, E as in Echo, L is in Lima. L is in Lima. How do you pronounce it, sir? Your last name? Grinnell. Uh, Linnell? Uh, Grinnell. It's pronounced the same way as a piano store that used to be on Woodward Ave in Detroit and the fire sprinkler company and the bird expert who died in 1939. Sir, can you see? So Grinnell, so it's G is in golf. I said, I said that. Can you simple spell me that? Like uh, G L Grinnell G. Okay, so I, G R I N N E G R E D E R I N N E L, right? No. G R I N N E L L. G R I N N E L L. That's perfect, sir. Yes. So, where do you make your own financial decisions? Yes. Oh, that's perfect, sir. So, sir, what is your favorite color for callback reference? My favorite color is black. Oh, that's perfect, sir. So, sir, that's all done for my side, and you're perfectly qualified for that. So, within the next 24 to 48 hours, our best license agent will call you back. So, sir, what is the best time to call you back, like in the morning, evening, or afternoon? It would be after 5 p.m., because then I'm finished playing bingo at the senior center, and I'm finished with watching reruns of the Golden Girls on TV, and I'm finished with feeding oh birds my God. on the park bench. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you, sir. How are you? Have a best time. Have a nice day. God bless you, sir. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello. Hi, my name is Cindy Jones, and I'm from Helping Hands Association. How are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? Great. Now, I am with American Benefits, and based on our records, it shows that you may qualify for state-regulated final expense insurance, and it's going to cover 100% of your funeral, burial, and cremation expense. Are you between the ages of 50 and 80 years old? Yes. Alrighty. Uh, thank you so much for holding on the line. This is the 
Amy Doris here, one of the senior insurance consultants with Heaven's Life. How's the day going so far? I'm okay. How are you? I'm going fine. Thanks for asking. I'm looking for some life insurance or final expenses. I'm looking for final expenses. I want to be able to afford a tombstone instead of cremation. And I want the tombstone to say, I told you I was sick. How old are you? I'm 79. Your date of birth? I was born a poor child. Christmas Day, year of our Lord. 1942, when I was born, the Battle of Stalingrad was still raging in Russia, and it was Franklin Roosevelt's third term in office. All right. What's your zip code? Four eight one two six. What do I do? Well, I retarded over 10 years ago. From here. Oh, I retarded from uh, manufacturing. All right. Do you make your own financial decisions? Yes. And for you, who would be the beneficiary of the policy? Your son, spouse, or your daughter? My nephew. Have I done what during the past five years? Or have you been in any nursing home? No. Any heart attack or stroke? Uh, no. And what will be your best ballpark for you to get you a quote on like $5,000, 10000 15 20 or more than that? 10000 Perfect. And you got a chicken or a saving account to pay the premiums, correct? Yes, I have a checking account. My first name is pronounced Robert. And your last name, Roberts? Grinnell. Grinnell. All right. That's all in the state of Michigan looks like to be pretty qualified. For quality and training purposes, I will briefly introduce you first to the licensed underwriter that will be from your local area. And by summoning the information, say it's like you may wait to receive communications by our partners at the same telephone number. Wow, to dial three recorded calls, emails, and text message. Even if it's listed on any federal state, do not call us, all right? Okay, I want to speak to the licensed secret agent. All right, here we go for a brief moment, all right? Okay. Goodbye. Hello? Hello? This is Liz Soren on the recorded line. Yes, I was talking to someone earlier, and he was supposed to send me to a licensed secret agent, but then the system said goodbye, and then I heard some ringing, and then I got you. Okay, sir. Well, thank you so much for connecting with me today, sir. And before we proceed, I'd like to confirm, are you interested in getting a quote for life insurance or final expense, ma'am? Final expense. Okay. Thank you, sir. And may I please have your first and last name? My first name is Robert, and my last name is Grinnell. Is that Grinnell? Yes, G is in golf. So G is in golf, R is in Romeo, I is in India, and is in November. And is in November. E is in Echo. L is in Lima. L is in Lima. Thank you so much, Robert. And sir, could you also provide me with your date of birth? I was born a poor child. Christmas Day, year of our Lord, 1942. When I was born, the Battle of Stalingrad was still raging in Russia. And it was Franklin Roosevelt's third term in office. Okay, sir. 
so you were born November 25th, 1942? Nope, December 25, 1942, Christmas Day. Yeah, December 25, my apologies. It's all right. All right, and... And have you been to the doctor in the last two years for any reason that we check up? No, because my favorite doctor, Dr. Kevorkian, died. I'm so sorry to hear that, sir. Hello? Hello?